They will fear the wild. Alright, what is up? What is going on, guys? It's your boy Trumbles, and I'm back in this time playing some of the Korean Sona top lane that has been going around very, very popular and very strong. And in this video, I'm going to tell you guys exactly why that's the case. Because I've been seeing what the other YouTubers have been saying about this strategy and honestly a lot of the stuff they're saying just isn't correct i guess is the the good way to put it so the whole point of this build is to roam around and you just support the rest of your team you get kills right what nobody's mentioned is that the whole idea is to snowball super early on and get your bot lane ahead <clears throat> because this is season 10 and as you guys know season 10 uh you know bot lane wins games not a meme that's pretty much a fact if your bot lane is better you will win the game um so with that being said if you go bot with your ultimate the odds are you're picking up a kill because you just press R in almost every single bot lane like you know what can you even actually do right it's not it's not the easiest skill shot to dodge it's pretty wide ability and because of that you run into the Sona just picking up a free kill or even two kills so, yeah, that's basically that. Uh, that's kind of the whole idea around the strategy. Then you're gonna go support item because, um, well, one, you can just obviously poke super hard with Sona in lane. But two, because you're roaming around so much, you're gonna be losing out on gold. So it helps you with the gold, uh, the gold issue that you are going to have. Like right now, I cannot, um, well, I can obviously farm. I just lose a little more gold, which is fine because at this point I have my first item that I want to get. Okay, not uh, not horrible since we still got the cannon there. And at this point, I do want to actually push this in because we're almost six. So we want to push this in and then we want to go back and then our roaming shall begin. And the fun part about playing Sonatop will begin. Also another thing nobody's mentioned is your auto queue is super easy to use in lane. Obviously you just press a button. But that's also two stacks instantly. And goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, I guess he didn't realize I'm running Ignite. Yes. You do want to run Ignite because of situations like that, and as well as once you get out of lane. I actually didn't need to use any pots there, which is pretty huge. So, for the first item, you want to pick up this thing, the shard. Which seems kind of stupid, but... Okay, not two shards, that would be stupid. Um, yeah, it, would, it seems stupid. But the whole idea of getting shard is it stacks with your move speed. And it did get buffed quite a while ago. But the buff's actually pretty good. It was like an extra 20 damage. So this thing actually does do quite a bit of damage. Especially with your uh, auto Q. And as you're going to see here, we have 400. Yes, 400 move speed. Oh my god, my flash didn't go off. No. Oh my god, are you serious? It's actually kind of a tilter. Not gonna lie. Okay. 
Okay. Oh. Yeah. We have guests here. No! No! <laughs> Alright, we're alive. We are alive. Hoping we can grab this and maybe help. Pick up some more early stacks. Oh my god, the damage. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Easy cheesy, boys. Well, other than the, um, the unfortunate flash not going off there. If I got my flash off, that was actually insane. Um, and now we'll go over the runes because I want this to be in-depth. So, Dark Harvest, you are going to get so many, so many stacks this game and every game you play this that... Um, you need Dark Harvest, like, you, you pretty much just abuse it. Oh, we have a lot of move speed. Do we have enough move speed? Yes, we do. So on the top, boys. That's... <laughs> oh my god, that's the power of the Sona top. So if you had your doubts, well, there you go, we just destroyed that singed. From like a mile away too. But yeah, look at our our dirt or uh, shard thing stack up pretty op. So you only really want to come top if like there's big waves like that, and then you can just clear the wave, um, and then you're going back bot. The whole idea is to sit bot lane, so that's literally where you're going to be heading back. So push that out. Good stuff. We're going to have our Sork boots, so we're going to deal a lot of damage here. And your general build is going to be the, um... It's going to be Lich Bane, and then after that, you grab Athenes. And then after Athenes, you just go for all the other support items. Wait, Molly, no! Well, I know! You're not supposed to... You're not supposed to win without me. What's going on here? Well... Looks like that one gank has, uh... Set us up for... Some good times. Who's the jungler again? Listen. We actually destroy this guy, I think. Okay. Our, uh, our money bags is gone, so we can start farming properly again. Which is nice. I can't really kill this guy, because it's singed. Can't really do too much against him, but we'll see if we can. We'll try our best. Okay, uh, now we're running. Okay, he zoom. You are faster. Wait. I thought that was my Senna! Oh my god. I thought that was my Senna, dude. I was like, okay, I'm gonna get healed here. Easy. Nope. I take uh, a whole bunch of damage. Wow. Well, that's unfortunate. Also, the rest of the runes cut down is, like, pretty OP because you are the weakest champion in the game when it comes to health. So... 
you literally just you can use it versus literally anybody and also you don't build any health items so you're not going to uh i don't think you outscale really anybody because almost everybody else is going to be building health items so yeah that's just uh that's just how that works all right boys we just hit her Got that move speed. Nice. <laughs> Alright, now we go for the drags. It's all about this bot control, guys. This is literally all it's about. There's no other... There's no other, like, plan to this. It's literally you just play towards your bot lane, and you win the game. Like, <laughs> that's all it is. But I've seen so many people just playing this so wrong, like... I've seen people think, like, you're just a support, like, they play it like you're just a support. When, in reality, look how much damage you do with this. Look at that! That is so much damage, like, I don't even have a single item complete yet. You are quite literally one of the most broken champions. You're dead. No? Oh my god, it healed before she got there. Wow. But yeah, you're literally one of the most broken champions when it comes to the early game. And because you're topside and you get to pick up actual CS plus your um, support item, it means you just stack up the items that you actually need earlier and faster than you would as an actual support. Also, the fact that you literally, like I said, play towards the bot lane, you get your bot lane fed. Oh, that's super cool. Help this guy. You play towards your bot lane, you get bot lane fed, you get drags, you win team fights. And that's literally all it's about. That is. That is all it's about. But don't be fooled because your late game is actually still incredibly strong because once you have your support items like your Athenes and uh, Ardent if you have enough like AD champions. If you don't then I wouldn't go Ardents I'd just go for like a death cap or a Zonia's. <clears throat> but uh, most cases you do have like uh, two or three auto attacking champions so. Yeah, once you get those, you are still a monster. You sit towards the mid backside of every team fight, and you basically just keep pressing Q over and over again and healing everybody. But yeah, look, look at this damage, dude. Like, what do you actually do versus this? Well, other than get ganked by Nari <laughs> who's pretty much their only member that has real damage but like as an AD carry and support you literally can't do anything like look at this our team is so strong I'm like the only death I am the only death okay we gotta stop healing people somebody else is gonna die on this team we can't be we can't be the only ones Wait, they surrendered! Well, that's, uh, honestly... That's literally how you want this to play out, so... If you guys enjoy, make sure to hit that like button, comment down below, and subscribe if you are new to the channel. And hopefully, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.